the hippos can't settle fights caused by overcrowding. There is no place else to go. As usual now, the hippos subside in an uneasy truce. Subdued by the day's heat and temporarily at peace, the baboons relax around the pool. His peace is shattered by a familiar cry of outrage. He's innocent, but he's too close to the nest, and the plover has a good eye for trouble. And young male baboons are especially targeted. sudden spat between rival crocs sends a ripple of panic through the pool. It's small wonder that the plovers are having trouble. A fresh track shows that a crocodile plowed right over their eggs. This is their third nest of the season that's been lost to the crocodiles. Starting again from scratch, the plovers perform the ritual of selecting a site for a new nest. The baby hippo is exploring her world. The restraint of the crocodile seems out of character. But with two tons of devoted mother nearby, She's free to treat crocodiles with the same bold familiarity as the adult hippos do. These great artists of violence are obliged to hold a kindly pose as the hippo child wanders in her playground of gently smiling dragons and slobbers on their tails.
yellow-billed kite checks the pool for an easy meal and sights a dead fish. The surrounding land is parched and bare, and each night the hippos must trek for miles to find grazing. Other animals wander in the riverbed in search of the few remaining pools. But most now are little more than reeking mud wallows, full of dead and dying fish. Even so, the impala would drink here, but the pool is dominated by a single croc, the last of a group of more than 40 that were here a month ago. The monkeys won't risk it and drink instead in deep footprints. The fawn's attempt to drink is a small disaster. Now it's covered with stinking mud. The mother sniffs her offspring, but doesn't recognize it in this foul disguise. The crocodile that has held back the drinkers suddenly leaves. Perhaps there is no future for it in this tiny pool.